Hey everyone, it's Rock the Cash, People's Champ, coming to you live from Cash Stadium. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode of Cash TV. In this episode, we will be reviewing what happened in week one of the FNFL. Very interesting uh, week, a lot of very close games and uh, some very, very interesting results. So uh, let's get into it now. First game, we had Rock for Cash up against the Browns. And where are we? Yo, 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 I'm scared. <laughs> Browns took a real early lead um, on the Saturday. As I said in the last video, they're up by about 50 or 60 points. The Cash fought back though, uh, but went down um, in the end 117.24 to the Browns and 111.78 to the cash. So only about a five and a half point loss to the cash. So that was a tough loss. Um, how do you feel after that? How the fuck you think I feel? Don't ask no dumb ass questions. Uh, this was one of those games, you know, what, <coughs> sorry, what could have been. Um, the, uh, the cash, he had his chances, um, but Basically, just didn't have the uh, the luck in the end. Um, the Jets' defense let him down with a score of three, um, and Aaron Rodgers with only seven and a half. Uh, both well under their projections. Um, for the Browns, though, like I said, Barkley got thirty-two and Reed got thirty-one. I mean, the Browns, as normal, taking the piss. This is the biggest threat to you in the tournament. <laughs> if I get drunk and fall down, hurt myself, I might lose. Sure, babe. Um, left a player in their team that was inactive. T Higgins and still hasn't bothered to get a kicker. So um, he had Mayfield, who scored 29, and Worthy, who scored 20 on his bench. So this could have been a lot worse for the Cavs. So the Browns should have scored about 150 in the end. So we were lucky to be even this close. Ooh. Brother, ooh. what's that? So well done to the Brown um, in this one. In the next game, uh, Lara West Rams were up against Herbert's only fans. Another game, um, you know, could have been a lot different. Um, the Herbert's only fans got this one 70.86 to 69.56. Only 1.3 points separated them in this one. Yes, I'm mentally little retarded, but that's okay. Um, the Lara West Rams were let down terribly. Amon Ra St. Brown only scored 2.8. Marvin Harrison, 0.9. Deontay Johnson, 2.9. So they really, really let him down. Are you fucking kidding me? Um, so again, a game that um, could have gone a completely different way, uh, but it didn't. And um, well done to uh, Herbert's Only Fans, their first win for the year. It's the vibe and uh no that's it it's the vibe in the next game team mazza uh up against mitch's mongrels team mazza back on track the train is in the station it is absolutely charging through at the moment they scored 117.28 to mitch's mongrels 72.98 this motherfucker don't miss no he's fucking good that motherfucker don't miss man he's good it um Team Mazza led beautifully by Josh Allen, 29, Mixon, 25, and the Bears' defense at 25. They were the difference between the two teams. Uh, Mitch's Mungles had a lot of players down. Evan Ingram only scored one. McLaurin scored two. Zerline got one. Pittman got five. Lawrence got eight. So, you know, he, he really wasn't in the game with those sort of um, outputs from his team. There is a little part of me that fears, Alex. <laughs> No, me sure too, Dina. Me too. Welcome to the club. But well done to Team Mazza. They, like I said, they've uh, been a sacco, I think, the last two years. So great to see them on the uh, the winning circle for a change. And uh, this might be the year of Team Mazza. Who knows? A bullshit. A bullshit. A bullshit. A bullshit. In the next game, Little Waiters uh, were hosting Archie's All-Stars. Father Cull getting the money in this one. 93.42 to Little Waiters, 85.26. <laughs> I think this guy is a dinner. Uh, Archie's All-Stars pretty much had a very even spread of uh, points uh, in their game. Only eight points separated the two of them. Um, but really, looking at the teams, Josh, uh, Joe Burrow only scored five. Zamir White, three. Devontae Adams, eight. 
Um, it could have been a lot different. But then again, saying that, Archie's All-Stars, Puka Nakua went off when he was on six. <laughs> Travis Kelsey only scored four. Zay Flowers only scored eight. So, you know, in the end, it probably was fair that um, Archie's All-Stars won this one. Yeah, baby, yeah! In the next game, the Overlords um, hosted uh, Young Remix Killers uh, and went down to them. Uh, Young Remix Killers 117.42 and the Overlords scored 98.12. Uh, the Killers were led by Lamar Jackson, 24.12, had 122 rushing yards. Um, uh, AJ Brown scored 20, and Boswell scored 25, equaling the highest uh, ever kicking um, by a player in the FNFL with 25 points. For the Overlords... You know, they were let down. Jay Warren got three. Najoku got six. That's probably six more than I thought that he'd get. He's fucking hopeless. And uh, McPherson got six. So uh, Mosert got two. Um, so in the end, probably a, a fair result. I mean, if your players aren't going to play well, you're not going to win in the FNFL. So that's basically it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, in the next game, um, Smooth Criminal were hosting Shiva Kamini, and Shiva Kamini got the chocolates in this one, 91.74 to 88.86. Uh, in the end, basically came down to um, Christian McCaffrey uh, deciding to not play in the end. <laughs> Um, there was probably 15 to 18 points there that were projected and only went down by about 2.9, 2.8 points. So Shiva Kamini can uh, thank his lucky stars, I think, in this one that he got the win. Emotional damage! Um, smooth Criminal absolutely spewing. I mean, is this going to be one of those years for Christian McCaffrey where he's always injured? He seems to do it every second year. Uh, so let's hope for them that um, he doesn't do that. Um, Shiva Kamini, Jay Moody, again, 25, equaling the highest uh, kicking score by a kicker in the FNFL. Uh, Kamara got 19, and on the other side, Mike Evans got 20, and Ford got 15. That was about it in this game. So well done to Shiva. He's on the, um, the winner's circle as well. My nigga. <laughs> and in the last game, the... Um, Rematch for the Duty Bowl, Moneymakers, um, whatever number they are now, 13, too money, too funny, or whatever it is, uh, up against the dark side. Moneymakers got the win in this one, 109.58 to the dark side, 97.88. Um, Moneymakers were led by Richardson, got 24, A Chain got 19. And Rashid Shaheed, great name, 24. Uh, for the dark side, Tyreek Hill, after getting arrested, got 23. Nico Collins got 14. Montgomery got 15. So, you know, Mark Andrews let him down with only two. Spears only got five. Goff got nine. Um, so they probably let him down there in their 12-point uh, loss. So just in summary, the Browns got over the top of the cash. Herbert's only fans just beat Lara West Rams. Team Mazza smashed Mitch's mongrels. Um, Archie's All Stars just over Little Waiters. Young Remix Killers easily over the Overlords. Shiva Kamini just um, over the uh, Smooth Criminal without CMC. And Moneymakers defending his crown against the dark side. So well done to all those um, winners. I want you to think about two words. Championship. Let's just have a quick look at what the ladder looks like. Um, currently, we have, as normal, seven teams that are on one win. Um, and in order, based on their scores, Young Remix Killers are on top. 
Team Mazda second, the Browns third, Moneymakers fourth, Archie's All Stars four, uh, fifth, Shiva Kamini in sixth, Herbert's Only Fans in seventh. Acknowledge me! Uh, and from eighth to 14th, based on their scores, uh, the best losers in eighth spot is Rock for Cash, in ninth are the Overlords. In 10th are the Dark Side, the 11th are Smooth Criminal, the 12th are the Little Waiters, the 13th are Mitch's Mongrels, and bringing up the rear is Lara West Rams. <laughs> so um, that's basically it for uh, a review of what happened in um, the first week of the FNFL. Um, just want to say congratulations to Team Mazza and everyone there at Team Mazza for the uh, safe arrival of little Louis Robert. Um, to the world, very chuffed um, that the Cash's uh, name has been used as a middle name there. Very, very chuffed indeed. Um, so good luck to them with the birth of their son um, and my grandson. Um, so yeah, other than that, there's not much else to talk about. These weeks will fly by. Before we know it, we'll be in week nine. Jesus Christ. Um, we'll have another Cash TV coming up, um, hopefully tomorrow to do a review of, or uh, preview of week two. Oh, uh, you gotta give him that hawk. Spit on that but uh, until then, enjoy the little uh, snippet at the end of this video, and uh, I'll see you all soon. That's the cash out.